the Royal Saudi Air Force is the aviation branch of the Saudi Arabian Armed Forces. The Royal Saudi Air Force currently has approximately 1,106 aircraft, 40,000 active personnel, 23,000 recruits, 9 wings, plus 99 squadrons, and a special forces unit dedicated to combat, search, and rescue. Hi friends, I am Rajab and you are watching Al-Zara 313 YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Royal Saudi Air Force. Please like the video and subscribe the channel for more informative videos. The RSAF has developed from a largely defensive military force into one with an advanced offensive capability and maintains the third largest fleet of F-15s after the US and Japanese Air Force. The backbone of the RSAF is currently the Boeing F-15 Eagle with the Panavia Tornado also forming a major component. The Tornado and many other aircraft were delivered under the Al-Yamama contract with British Aerospace, now BAE system. The RSAF ordered various weapons in the 1990s including Sea Eagle anti-ship missile, laser guided bombs and gravity bombs. Al Salam, a successor to the Al Yamama Agreement, will see 48 Eurofighter Typhoons delivered by BAE. The RSAF was formed in the mid 1920s with British assistance from the remains of the Hijaz Air Force. It was initially equipped with Western Vapidi 2A general purpose aircraft flown by pilots who had served Ali of Hijaz but had been pardoned by the Saudi king. It was reorganized in 1950 and began to receive American assistance from 1952 including the use of the Hran Air Field by the United States Air Force. Early aircraft used by the RSAF include the Caproni CA-100, Albatros G-3, Armstrong Whitworth, FK-8, Fairman MF-11, Airco DH-9, DH-82 Tiger Moth, Westland Vapidi, Avro Anson, Douglas C-47 and the B-26 Invader. As part of the magic carpet arm deal between the United Kingdom and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, four single-seat Hawker Hunter F6 and two Hunter T7s were ordered from Hawker in 1966. The aircraft were delivered to number no. 6 squadron at Hamis Mushet Air Base in May 1966. Also, the Hunters were operational following attack on Saudi Arabia by the Egyptian Air Force, they were not a success as interceptors as they lacked any ground control but were used for ground attack. One single-seat aircraft was lost in 1967 and the remaining aircraft were presented to Jordan in 1968. The Saudi forces are equipped with mainly Western equipment. Mass suppliers to the RSAF are companies based in the United Kingdom and the United States. Both the UK and the US are involved in training programs conducted in Saudi Arabia. During the 1980s and 1990s, by Middle Eastern standard, the armed forces of Saudi Arabia were relatively small. Its strength, however, was derived from advanced technology. The backbone of the strike ground attack force is formed by CA-70 tornadoes. A second batch of 48 tornadoes IDF were ordered in 1993 under the Al Yamama 2 program, and 72 F 15s aircraft delivered from the mid 1990s that operates beside the remnants of more than 120 F 15 CD aircraft delivered starting in 1981. Pilot training is executed on the Pilatus PC-21 and BAE Hawk. The C-130 Hercules is the mainstay of the transport fleet and the Hercules is assisted by CN-235 and Raytheon King Air 350 light transport. Reconnaissance is performed by Tornadoes and F-15s equipped with the DJRP electro-optical reconnaissance port. The Boeing E-3A is the airborne early warning platform operated by number 18 squadron or SAF. Please like the video and subscribe the channel for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.